Good day, everybody. Welcome to today's video. Today's video, I'm going to do a thermostat replacement in my 2015 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk that has a 3.2 liter engine. We're going to start by popping the hood open. I'm going to open up the radiator coolant bottle cap, disconnect the negative on the battery. I like to put a rag under it. Then we're going to access the drain from the radiator, put a hose on it, and drain it out some coolant. You don't need to drain out all of it. We do need to remove the air box, so push that white clip in and then slide out the vacuum line. That's pretty simple. Then we got to remove the clamp, loosen the clamp at least. So I got my flathead screwdriver in there and I'm loosening up the clamp. I pretty much had to loosen it completely off in order to get it out. So right now I'm just working on it, sliding it off the air box. And we're free. Now, I actually scraped my knuckles up really good, so you got to be careful. The box is held on by three points, and you got to give it some leverage to pull it out. So the thermostat housing is held in place, I believe, by two 10 mil bolts. An upper and a lower one. Once the air box is out, it's pretty easy to get at them, and I just put them on top of the cover, get to the bottom one. Just use a quarter-inch ratchet, nothing too serious. And once you've got enough coolant drained, you won't have to worry about too much leakage. Now I just broke it free. Now i got to remove that clamp. As far as I know, that is a one-time use clamp. So I'm just using some side cutters here to try to break it free. So when you tackle this job, you got to make sure that you have a clamp that you can use. I was lucky I was able to find one in my garage. So let's just bust that clamp free. Get her out of the way. Now I'm using a hose pick tool. And this hose pick tool is breaking the seal. And then once the seal's broken, I get the old thermostat out. This is the old thermostat. This is the new one. I gotta put in. To make the installation easier, I'm putting some assembly lube on it to help push it on easier because it is a little bit of a struggle. So I get it started on the hose. And I find that it is a very very tight fit so to make it easier I am going to put the bolts in for the thermostat housing and tighten them up that way I could try to use some leverage to help kind of push that hose back into place I'm just tightening her up nice and snug and now I'm just working that hose on got my hose clamp put in place I found in my garage it ain't pretty but it's gonna have to work because <clears throat> I thought you could salvage that clamp but you can't now I'm gonna fill it up full of coolant and once I got the coolant filled there's two bleed screws there's one on the thermostat housing itself that I'm gonna loosen off and you'll be able to hear the air come out and then once all the air is purged, you're going to see coolant start coming out. Once you start seeing coolant come out, we're going to tighten her back up. And there's also a bleed valve on the upper passenger side radiator. Same thing. Loosen her off. Bleed out the air. Put the air box back in. Make sure the coolant's topped up. And then you can start it and check for leaks and top up your coolant. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.